the game's new to me. So I kind of want to do one more. Giant skeleton. Huge skeleton does not bode well. I really wonder who killed him. Oh my. It's a nice collection of bottles you have here. Odd kind of place, though, no matter how you look at it, I imagine this will be a sight to behold when you and the Collector have lit up all the flasks. You're working on it, aren't you? Obviously, you're chipping away at it. Like all the others. I unlocked a thing or two. Look at me go. Nutcracker. The beginner's bow, I think. I know what you've been up to. Oh yes, I know all your dirty little secrets. No, no integration, not on my first day of runs. I don't want to give y'all that kind of power over me while I learn the game. I've been writing them down in my little book. That's what I do. You kill things, I take notes. Oh, neat. guy's not talking to me. What's in here? Sure. At last! Oh, Rusty, I'm enjoying this game so much. Come closer. I won't cut you, don't worry. I'm the tailor. I can fix you up with some proper clothes. I struck a deal with our mutual friend, the Collector. You bring him the templates, and I will craft it for you. <gasps> the reverse burglar's outfit. Ooh, I like that. So many outfits. Neat. And away, and away, oh. And away. Oh shit. already hit me with five gifties today pretty great like I said I you know I spent a metric shit ton of money in Italy trying to make everybody's dreams come true on their European vacation zero regrets about it but yeah I I, I, I am here to make some money oh shit times 
Ignore that. Downward smash attacks cover the ground with flammable oil. Sure. That's true. We have had nary a bit given today, so the uh, bit leaderboard on this Minor League Monday is uh, exceptionally light. The barrier for entry is not particularly high. There we go. Hey, man. Those are hey, good. meat shield. There we go. And we're off. I'm gonna try a brutality run if I can find the weapons for it. Meat shield, thank you so much. Ow, he got me. This is the story. D, what's going on, man? Tier Denizen two. Cave. Forty-eight months. Subskis, everyone. Taffy, glad to see you made it back hey, to the states yeah, safely. Love you all. Is. Happy to have you here, dude. Alpaca with two hundred and thirty hey, bitties. Yeah, Sorry, one hundred and thirty bitties. I was shooting for the moon. And Didactical Array with 100 bits. Thank y'all so much. Even the itty bitties add up over time, to be sure. No such thing as an amount too small right now. Yeah, your boy. Made it back from Europe safely. But safely costs extra. Rusty Brazen Fire, thank you for the itty bitties, my dude. I do like hitting things very, very hard with that hammer. I also like that I don't have to physically get close to things in order to pick them up, in order to pick them up. What are you? Blueprint for an ice shield. I'm out of bits. I'm as out of bits as I am out of fucks. Payroll's being figured out for the end of the week. That was uh, all. That was the thirty dollars. Was all you're getting from me? That's fine. Thirty thirty dollars is great. Man, those are bits. I'll gleefully take thirty bucks. For sure. Lisa, thank you for the itty bitties. Very much appreciated. Oh, it's a vine, I think. I think? I think that's what I'm seeing there is a vine. For so 
Me tier 148 months, four full ass years, kicking off a happy little level one hype train. Three minutes and 24 seconds left. Anyone's feeling particularly froggy? Rusty, thank you so much for the $69. Kiva says, Chat and Tavi, I'm trying to clean, organize, and pack to get ready for my move. Just discovered via a previously lost envelope that sadly I did not get approved for a loan in 2020. How will you financially recover? from this Kiba. Kiba, you live rent free in my head. Thank you very much. I've had three carbonated beverages in the last three days because of you. This is Rust the Brazen Fire gets a tier one sub to Shubinator. 1,856 all time gifties. Good grief. Good grief. Thank you so much, Rusty. What is this now? What is this strange creature st uh, stuck to his face? He still spasms a bit as if he was half alive. It better not linger. Staying too long could have unforeseen consequences. Crowbar and... Yo, this is it's, the um... Of the newest denizen. Gordon Freeman saved my life. Um, Half-Life references. Got it. Head crab. It's a head crab. Jinsumi tier one, 70 months. 70 months seems like a little while. Heart you, Tavi. Right back at you, Jinsumi. You're the best around. Thank you so much. 90 seconds left to get us up to level two. 97% hype train. It doesn't really matter. I, I, you know, I can give two rips about hype trains. <clears throat> they haven't fiddled with the emotes on those in years. But in case anybody was uh, concerned from a pride standpoint, you know. Hello? It's a Hollow Knight bench. Why does this game have so many neat references in it? Lucid still refers to them as the scam trains. They were fun um, when we were earning global emotes. This place feels so peaceful. I feel like sitting on it would be a great relief. It's good to be right. Pure nail, wow. The references. Can attack while moving upward and uh, moving and upward, uh, attacking downward while airborne causes you to bounce on enemies, the newest dealing critical damage. Rusty Brazen Fire gets to tier one sub goes to Bread Knight Luxury. No longer work for my department as a secretary, former department. Instead, I work for operations and maintenance as a secretary. 
I still have a job and I don't have to work with her anymore. Could not be happier. Oh, your former boss? I had a friend who used to really, really love her job. And then the boss she was working with left and a new boss came in and replaced him. And she fucking despises her new boss and it breaks my heart because my, my buddy Stacy was always the person I looked to as, the person I looked to as like my shining beacon on the hill that if I ever had to break down and get a job that I didn't really care about but paid my bills, that it could be okay. One might even argue it could be fun. Now, now I'm miserable to find out that that is not the case for her. Just finished my PT and now for the real workout. I've got the gym tonight. I've got to do some more video editing. I got to get a whole bunch of TikToks up. I got to get back on my routine. Um, that said, the routine, old Mr. Dependable schedule here. I got my haircut appointment switched too. So next Wednesday, I was supposed to get my hair cut at 8 30 i got it moved because i don't have to worry about amber and the boys they're home for the summer so i was gonna get my hair cut at 8 30 on next wednesday instead now the haircut's at 3 30 which means we end a little early but we start on time i would like to get back to feeling like y'all can depend on me to be here uh when i'm supposed to be here oh you prick Nuts. But whatever the hell I'm supposed to do here, I'm not able to do here. Oh, I can do it here. A dilapidated arboretum key. Uh, I am sad because I did all that for nothing. I'll take that kebab now, please. Not me literally eating New York style cheesecake for breakfast over here. I um I had a real I had a real aggressive wake up call when I when I weighed in and I am at current as fluffy as I have ever been. Even more fluffy than than grad school, even more fluffy than um, even more fluffy than grad school, even more fluffy than um. I'm gonna try some new stuff during the pandemic when I was just eating out of boredom and day drinking for fun. So that that shall not pass. I gotta I gotta rope that right in immediately ASAP. Jonathan Frakes thinks all your stories are based. Was this story based? Yes. Was this story based? Was this story based? Yes. Was this story based? Yes, it was. If you thought this story was based, you're right. Is this story based? Did you think this one was based? If you thought this one was based, you're right. Is this story based? Yes. I adore you, Jonathan Frakes. You ever go a walking in the pale moonlight? You ever ride a bicycle? Two minutes. Kiss my ass, two minutes. Thank y'all for, er, thank y'all for the itty bitty hype train. Appreciate that. He's my wife's fourth cousin. 
He seems nice. Hard to see how you could reforge a grenade or a bow with a tool like that. Very slipshod game design. Wow. Calling themselves out. I'm gonna go combo. Promenade of the Condemned. I have no idea how you'd even track fourth cousins. Assassin's Dagger. Oh. All right, Cursed Treasure, what do you got for me? Oh, it's, it's just that. Is that. I wonder if it's that over and over and over again. Upgrade my stats. Let's go Brutality. Take Infantry Grenade over Ice Grenade. That's a one. That's a two. That's a three, shit. That's four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Hey, curse lifted. Absolution. Be cursed and survived. And survive. You're goddamn right I did. Oh, that scared the piss out of me. I threw a grenade at him. It's the training dug dummy from a uh, Rogue Legacy. I threw a grenade at him and he teleported into it. These grenades are kind of cool. I gotta find whatever the wall bounce is. The nutcracker. Is that gonna be better than the nail, I wonder? Or wolf trap, too. Is either one of them more expensive than the other? It's got to be slightly better than the beginner's bow. This is the Yo, Richie, what's going on, homeboy? Of the cave. Nice to know that the god enraging experience in Noida is not going to waste here. Tier 1, 34 months, uh, Taffy's back, balance has been restored. Listen, I don't want to insinuate that our relationship is Pavlovian, but I am genuinely gratified at the prospect of being able to remind people that by God, this is where you are from Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 3.30. If I'm gone for long enough, you find new homes, and I can't be mad at anyone but myself. So we don't have anything that really bites us until uh, PAX West in the first week of September. So it'll it'll damn near be switching to fall by the time I have to take a chunk of time off again. Remember, you're here forever. Lucy kept me sane and safe while you were gone. Excellent. Excellent, well chosen. It's where I would be if I could watch Twitch at work, that's fair. That's fair. 
past half he was pretty chill. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, all things being equal, it devastated my viewership for my bounties. Not that we take bounties very often, but, like, my bounties went from, like, hey, play this video game for an hour for, like, 120 bucks. And now it's like, play this video game for an hour and we'll give you $50. But yeah, Past Taffy did a good job. Um, what'd you guys watch? You guys watched Control? And... Did it go directly into Rogue Legacy 2? Or did y'all watch uh, The Quarry as well? Control and Rogue Legacy 2? I may have ruined his sanity though, sanity though I uh, inter introduced him to Transformers themed band This is the story plays music the while in full blown cosplay. Can't believe I told Lucid about your herring balloon crash service and now he really doesn't want to go. Can you believe that? You survived, therefore, hot air balloons equal harmless. Clag, a six month gifty from Glitch going into month number six. I appreciate you both so much. Didn't see the quarry, gotcha. We had it on there just in case. A young woman, prisoner 6541, she's clutching something in her fist, and now it's mine. Golden amulet, downward smash attack, burns the ground. I don't have any way to light the oil on fire once it's on the ground. Huh. That didn't work. You're doing great, bud. That was, oh, shit! He almost got me with that one. Well, now I have something to light the ground on fire. Firebrands 4. Get out of here, nutcracker. Nobody likes you. Um, am I not burning the stupid training dummy? Guess not. I've been catching a lot of clips in video game count like countdowns and stuff from um, Cyberpunk. I'm beginning to think that Cyberpunk, when we end up playing it, is going to be more fun than I gave it credit for. Guardian Scroll, what do you got for me? Tactics or survival? Uh. Survival. Let me get some health. Inflammable. Does inflammable mean not flammable? It's just industrial based lubricant. It's patched up enough to be good now. Yeah, it seems like I it, it, uh, like I'm genuinely getting. Uh, I can't remember who it is. It's like Barrel or someone like that who's just like. Uh, single-handedly trying to bring that into existence. Oh, shit. Got him. But I find myself more and more looking looking forward to it. Barrel keeps ticking away at it. Blueprint acquired for Spartan sandals. It means incredibly flammable. He's not just famous. He's infamous. El Huapo's not just famous, he's infamous. Oh, infamous. Do you have anything besides Mexican food? Hey, man. Yo, Richie, thank you for the 200 bits to Cyberspork. Yeah, honestly, I'm I'm I, I feel intrigued to play that game, not because I'm super concerned about the uh, 
I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not concerned about, oh, I want to play a shooter or I want to play something particularly, um, that's the word I'm looking for. Narrative driven or anything like that. I just, um, I'm looking forward to the stories that are buried in that game. I feel like there's a bunch of fun, like, while Diablo 4 is fun, a lot of the side quests and stuff are not particularly gripping. Oh, my husband Horsafath was made to look crazy and he wandered into the woods. Please investigate. And then you kill the husband and you come back and you go, your husband was possessed by a demon. Oh no, poor Horsafath. Oh, my heart. Here's some gold. And then that you that's every side quest. <laughs> that's every... That's every side quest in Diablo 2, or in Diablo 4. Poor Horsafath. And so there's a part of me that, like, from the goofy shit that I've seen in, like, countdown videos for Cyberpunk, is like, oh, right. What CD Projekt Red does do well when they get their shit cleaned up is that they did a great, they do a great job with, like, weaving in irreverence and, and, you know, sort of that um, Red Dead Redemption 2, Witcher 3, uh, holy shit, I can't believe I'm on a side quest where Roach can talk. Or like, holy shit, I can't believe that I'm tracking a serial killer in Red Dead Redemption 2, like that kind of stuff. I'm looking forward to that kind of like zany, uh, exploring the nooks and crannies bullshit. And they're, and they're all named Horsafath. Yeah, the world stories, exactly. I'm super interested in the world stories. Gardener's key, they said. A kebab. That's not fair. There's like five quests that are more involved than that. Hold your horse's rocket punches. Are we talking side quests? Or are we talking main story quests? Because even then, the last main story quest I did last night, no spoilerinos, was Lilith was here and now somebody I care about is possessed with crazy. I hope I don't have to kill this loved one because they're possessed with crazy. Oh no, my poor mom, Horsafath. I had to kill her because she was possessed with Lilith crazy. Honestly, the only difference so far has been like, where's the crazy come from? One guy was like, oh, he's fucking a succubus. And then she put a net dagger in his chest and pulled off all of his skin. Poor Horsafath. But then the stories are just like, Lilith came through here and they made all, she made all the Horsafaths crazy. There are some good side quests. Okay. Because mine really have been. Horsafath has gone crazy and you have to go kill him in a cellar or in the woods. Or there's a bunch of random shit scattered among the nearby monsters. Please go get them. Please go find my list. Please go find this part of this animal. Please go find demon hearts or ghoul hearts or skeleton bones. Um... So far, all of my side quests have been Red Dead Redemption. We need these herbs. Or it's been, uh, you know, go get, go collect this many varmints. Or uh, bring this many bandits to justice. But I, I feel like I have, I have uh, not yet, and it, admittedly, I have explored out of a map this big, I've explored like this much. Um... But man, there are a lot of Horsafath quests so far in Diablo 4. 
And I, I can't wait to get to... You know what I want? You know what I want, Rocket Punches? You know what I want? I want the Quest in Diablo 4. Because you have to remember, Blizzard Activision, back before they became a soulless corporate uh, monolith, used to be the oh, people who put... of the newest denizen of the cave. The Hidden Cow stage in after the Hidden Cow stage was just a rumor. You know, that kind of irreverence. I want in Diablo 4 to find the thing that was like the quest from um, Skyrim where you just reenacted the storyline for The Hangover. I don't know how many people have played enough Skyrim to remember that there's one, there's one quest that you start and as soon as you start it, you get drunk with a guy and then you wake up in a completely different part, like a different realm being bitched at by nuns for all the heinous and sacrilegious shit that you did inside their church. And then you have to backtrack and figure out what you did, which I think involved like almost getting married or getting married, trashing a church and all these other things. That was a fun quest. That's one of the only things out of Skyrim that sticks in my head because I have the memory of a goldfish when it comes to books I read or songs that I've listened to or video games that I've played. Unless something truly stands out like uh, succeeding you, father. Like stuff like that. It has to be a core memory moment in video games. And for me, playing Skyrim, I was just like, did I just play The Hangover? So, anywho, I'm waiting for that moment in Diablo 4, but so far it's all just been, oh, my husband Horsafath, he went crazy and is in the cellar. And I'll, I'll be excited to find something that's not that. Uh, that was I used that one to get a free one-way trip to Marcath. Haven't found that yet, but I've been avoiding most of the side stuff till the end of the game. See, the, the irony there, Rocket Punches, is I've been doing nothing but side quests. I've played, Saturday I played a lot. I played a lot of, uh, uh, or Friday night I played a lot of Diablo. Saturday I played a little bit more. I only did just like an hour last night. Um, I've done almost exclusively side quests. I've done one story mission in three days. Otherwise, it's been almost exclusively side quests. Um... Yeah, it's been a whole lot of Horsafath has has gone crazy. Yeah, the dude you get drunk with turns out to be basically like that game's Loki. The Daedric Lord of Debauchery. I'm gonna be fucking useless in Yakuza games. <laughs> I can tell you that already, Pyrexis. I think uh, Like a Dragon is on there somewhere for us to play at some point. I guarantee you... I will never see that game's main story. I haven't been willing to spend $70 on a new game yet. We managed to get a copy of uh, uh, Tears of the Kingdom of Costco for 60 bucks, and that was borderline too much. I was, if I'm being honest with you, I was gifted my copy of uh, Diablo 4 because Nate was looking for a friend to play with before he went to New York and I went to Italy he went to New York on business and I went to Italy for pleasure um, I thought I had a plan there What if I do it from the... By God, from the top rope! Oh, no. All these Yakuza games have amazing side quests and an amazing main story. Yeah, I'm, I'm genuinely looking forward to it. That definitely tracks both with uh, with Nate and, uh, and with you getting gifted the games. Yeah, Nate. I told Nate that I didn't have a spare... A spare 70 to 90 dollars lying around i wanted to play it but i just couldn't justify the expense so he gifted it to me under the under the um condition that i'd be willing to play it with him 
if and when the time came. And he, he and I have only gotten to play one time, but it was fun. And I've been trying to kind of catch up to his level, especially while he's at work. What's this guy's story? Oh, you're just the you're just the shop guy. Pure nail four. Balanced blade four. Oh, well, it's definitely not used to having this many games I want to buy after the last few years. I mean, I, I'm pretty fortunate in that I don't have to buy games often, and when I do, it's usually stuff y'all want to see me play that's like three or four years old. So I've normally caught it on sale. I'm never gonna be at max HP. Let's just buy this. <clears throat> that is, in fact, the Hollow Knight nail. I adore that. I adore that. I'm remembering... Anybody else who's ever gone low carb, and I'm not talking keto, uh, although I'm assuming that w with regards to keto, it's probably the same. Anyone else ever gone low carb? And it's like when you eat Chinese food, where um, I just ate and I feel pretty full. I feel pretty full, but the lone problem that I'm running into is that while I feel full, I'm also weirdly hungry at the same time. I don't feel hungry, but I don't feel full. I guess is the way I'm trying to say it. I don't feel hungry, but I don't feel full. I know it's expensive, but I need to get you a Magic Spoon sponsorship. Oh, I would really like Magic Spoon. I would consider eating breakfast if I could get Magic Spoon. When I had that stuff, uh, when I had the, that full but not satiated, uh, it helped me. Total satiation. I, I think it's the thing is that like without carbohydrates hanging out inside my body, without carbohydrates hanging out inside my body, my, my body instantly goes, that's enough food for now. But it's like when you drive a car off the lot at a dealership, it instantly goes from full price to to depreciating, right? So it's like the moment that I get done eating, I'm like, I'm full, but immediately that meter starts coming down because there's no carbohydrates sitting in my stomach to go like, you're full and we've got some energy for later. Don't you worry about it. It's like, uh, you're full, but we're gonna burn through this pretty quick. So you're gonna be hungry again in 90 minutes. Yeah, I just, I constantly find myself wanting to snack Twiggy Wings just to like top up. What's going on is your body wants the carbs because it's uh, where it's used to getting its energy, but it doesn't have enough. So you train your body to use other things. Yeah, I mean, like I, I accidentally put myself in ketosis once back before I knew what it was. Fun fact, I found out that when I'm in ketosis, uh, my sweat stinks like ammonia. Not really a fun fact, but it is it is true. What is this? Water, I guess. The ossuary. Yeah, I've been using I've been using like th th this this particular dish was swimming in olive oil and raw garlic because I needed it to taste like something. So I've been putting in a little more oil, a little more fat, but I'm not going full, like full keto, but I am definitely trying to cut up, cut back on the number of the, by doctor's advice, trying to cut back on the number of carbs that I could consume. Did I mean to leave there? I guess I did. Long 
wrong way down. Slash, slash, roll. Unlock ten weapons. Found that butter satiates more than olive oil, also coconut oil. I've got, uh, I mean, I have the nori snack sheets. I don't really like nori just by itself. I got some quest chips. Um, I got protein bars. I've got the, 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 the primal, um, veggie jerky, which is pretty good. It's all fine. It's a different, it's a different type of full. It's full, but it feels more hollow. Safflower oil. Right, like I don't want to eat a protein bar when I'm actually topped up. Yeah, the quest chips were a gift from somebody. I think Alicane also got me some different chips that are on their way. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Just not even really whinging, just kind of pontificating out loud. Alexa, define pontificating. This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. Thank you. To express one's opinions in a way considered annoyingly pompous or dogmatic. Yep, that's exactly what I was going for. Um, yeah, that is that was I just you know, just sort of pontificating like uh, sort of a, a, a Seinfeld as what's the deal with you know airline food like that. I'm like man, why do I feel full but hungry at the same time? Uh, Dad bought games Prime Gaming twenty six months. Thank you so much. For your continued support. Both my boys mess up the nori sheets for sure. That full feeling you get before dessert comes out. Yeah, we're just like, I couldn't eat another bite. And they're like, we have creme brulee. And I'm like, well, maybe one more bite. My dessert stomach is empty. Uh, Almost 50 says, Taffy, welcome back, brother. Hope Italy was all you expected and more. It was very stressful and it was very anxiety inducing trying to make sure that my mom and my boys had a good time, but they did, so mission accomplished, so all of that felt well worth it. This is only my third ever Dead Cells run, the carrot guy, and I've never watched anybody play it. So this is, I've never, to me, base, uh, base Dead Cells is a brand new game. Aaronator, what's going on? Welcome, homie. I saw you hanging out in Justin's chat last night. Dirty, 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 dirty boy. Don't think I'm not always watching. Ooh, outfits. Oh my god, mutations? What doesn't kill me? Recover? Oh, I don't parry. Not yet. Uh, uh Rolling leaves three crow's feet behind you. Inflicting five to uh, 50 damage. Frostbite. Ice shield, quick bow, magic bow, infantry bow. Blood sword? You had me at blood sword? I didn't know all this shit was down here! <laughs> now this all feels important. But you weren't live? That's- if I'm not live, then you spend the weekend pining for me going, I will never feel this feeling again. I will incentivize him to stay alive forever with my love and money. I haven't watched you since the kids were born, but my acute understanding of the cost of kids is why you get the Bezos money religiously. Whew. I feel bad because I've definitely had some people, like, you know, not to, not to beat a dead horse, but we've definitely had some people who have, who have referenced that we are, all of us, in a recession. Uh, streamers are not 
immune to it for sure. We're all feeling the pinch, the trickle down economics of that. Um, but it is it is a different kind of pinch when it's the lone breadwinner for a family of three, including uh, including two boyas. Oh shit! I didn't even realize I could pick this up. I want to see what this looks like. Yeah, we're doing that. Good call. Thank you, Carrot Guy. I didn't realize unlocking it meant I could have it. So yeah, anywho, that's, uh, you know, Amber and I got to have a little State of the Union this weekend. In it, We've been flush the last couple of years. And so that's meant whenever we wanted to go to Bush Gardens, we went to Bush Gardens. Whenever we wanted to go to minor league baseball games, we went to minor league baseball games. But this year we have to actually sit down and just sort of say like, what can we do? What can we afford not to do? What expenses do we spare and what's non-negotiable and, and really budget out the summer? For sure. For sure. Reforge modifiers, upgrade the quality. I just like adding the quality on. Give me a mutation, my guy. Go necromancy again. That being said, Bush Gardens was great. Yeah, it looked fun. Damn, we don't even have health to, to top off. Also, where one of the worst places on the island, or one of the safest, depending on who you ask. Achievement on uh, smells like burned flesh. Reached the Ossuary for the first time. Oh, God, what did I say this guy's name was? Uh... Yeah, if you haven't checked out this guy, Caleb Hammer, Horsafaf, the YouTuber, he's gone mad. He started making crazy videos and then he disappeared into the cellar smash. I'll give you seven chickens if you go downstairs and kill him. I think this has something to do with Lilith. Um. I've been watching that dude, and all he does is just brutal audits of people from the Austin area. Some of them are content creators, because there's a lot of... Lucid will testify. There's a lot of content creators in the Austin area, both good and bad. Um, content creators, just people who live in the area, uh, old, young, and he just goes through and ravages their finances if they're in a bad financial spot breaks it down and they're like I feel and he's like I don't give a shit facts don't support what you feel you can feel in one hand and fill your other hand with facts and one of them is going to mean something to me and the other one won't yeah it's my first time in the ossuary we have two season passes to bush gardens if you want to borrow the only check ID at the gate for parking yeah potentially potentially if that uh, if it's a day y'all aren't going and we'd only have to pay for like Rory and Grayson to get him. Good luck. The other one was rough. What was it? The uh, the one with all the poison gas and the nightlight and all that bullshit. That sucked. I hated that. I don't know. We'll weather it. It'll be fine. It's just, you know, it's uncomfortable because it's the first time in a couple of years where we've had to fall back into our old poverty habits. You know what I mean? Like, Amber and I were good for 20 years at making no money and saving money. In the last couple of years, we've been able to, like, kind of just, like, tell the boys yes on almost everything. Um. And this is going to be the first year in a couple of years where we've, where we've had to start breaking out the word no again. Not Noah again, but, like, no again. Oh, shit! You ever make a mistake? It's happened to me before. 
Give me that kebab. Yeah, pre-pandemic, back before y'all had uh, stimulus checks, you were basically just willing to hand us, and everybody was stuck at home. Hello? You seem upset. Um... What is all that red? Weird. Um... Yeah, pre-pandemic, you know, it was it was nice to have made some money. Like, it, anytime you could make money, it was nice, but I wasn't making, like, excess money. And that's kind of back where we are now, and that's fine, but yeah, it's gonna take some getting used to again. Plus, I don't have any more companies to sell. I hear that around a lot, too. We had that conversation in our household. We aren't in trouble yet, but some irresponsible decisions could easily put us in a bad spot. If, it, that's exactly it. If Amber and I don't reconcile the reality of the situation, which is we're heading for a lean year, it's the lean year I thought we were going to have in 2020. I didn't realize 2021 to 2022 were going to be flush. But I told her in 2020, I was like, tighten up the belt straps. Let's figure out how we sail with a skeleton crew. I was right. I was just three years early. And now we're here. And it it could be problematic, Rapid if Amber and I choose to ignore the reality of the situation. If we don't ignore the reality of the situation, if we actually, like, handle ourselves like responsible adults, and, and now that we're back from Italy, really uh, rein everything in and, and get a tight grasp on our finances, we should be fine. Multiple Nox bow. Ooh, it poisons, huh? Well, that's not nearly as good as what I got, though. I just found a uh, Game Pass the description that reads RPG where you place children at different gun turrets in a, uh, in a tank to fight against the enemy. So, like an elementary school in Texas? Or, hear me out, Taffy, we start our own crypto coin. Be easy, Taffy, we just need some suckers. But where will we find Rubes gullible enough? Chat, happy MLM Monday. Minor League Monday. Celeste, what's going on? Welcome back. Chuffed, as always, to have you here. Phew. What is this now? That works. Minor League Monday, Monday. Chai means tea. You don't say... Can I... You don't say, can I have a tea tea or a coffee coffee? ATM machine. ATM already stands for machine. That's like... Sorry. If you know, you know. Ah, I beat you to it. <laughs> I beat you to it, Stevie. Get wrecked, scrub. Ah. Good. What's going on? Yeesh. Uh. Hey, Sonic the asshole hedgehog, hold that for me, would you? Hello? Hey. Yeah, pin number, personal identification number, number. I, mean, I can't afford any of these things yet, but...
Plus 100% damage taken. Gross. Maybe I'm glad I'm broke. Sea of Thieves all morning? Sea of Thieves is a beautiful game. I miss having an excuse to play Sea of Thieves. Shit. Whoa! There we go, mountain biking. A lot of blood. Oh, Veril, thank you so much. Genuinely appreciated. I don't think I'm currently being paid by Voodoo Ranger. I might not get another paycheck from them until PAX West. Matter of fact, I might ping Noah and be like, hey, do we have another Voodoo Ranger thing lined up anytime soon? I would love for them to pay for a chunk of packs. Like, if they pay for my hotel room, that'd be great. Um, got some fruit punch juice force yesterday. It's pretty good, but quite sweet. Yeah, it's almost like if beer and Hawaiian punch had a baby. You gotta be in a very specific mood for it. The Grimoire. Research notebook. The sanctuary substance produces unpredictable results on the bones I've collected here. All these bodies, all these lives. At the end of the day, perhaps the king is right. Oh, uh, that was not yours? I was leasing that. Welcome back. My internet occasionally drops, but it's only dropping for a couple of seconds now. Let's see. My internet's still doing some real janky shit. Sorry, chat. Did Brizzy give you his internet? There's something wrong with my home network. I think it's this brand, relatively brand new Nighthawk router.
scares the shit out of me when they do that. I've got this router that is the only new thing I can think of. I got this router that's the only new thing I can think of. Oh, he backed up his thorny ass into me. It's way nicer than the router I was using, but uh, the, the we had bad internet, like bad internet drops for a while. We don't have as bad. Like the internet drops now after Lauren and Squint Fox have been picking at it. The internet drops are not as bad, but they are still frequent. They're just much shorter. Try plugging your ethernet cable into another port. Work for Brizzy, apparently. I don't think I have one. Like, all of my Ethernet ports are filled up. And there's only... There's only one port in the faceplates coming out of the wall. Yeah, Rusty, I went to go check out retirement, and I was like, Oh, right, it's a federal holiday. You big nutter. Cursed treasure, you say. I'm gonna do it. I wonder if it's just the same one over and over and over again. Twin daggers, you say. That is pretty good. Keep forgetting to tell you, Taffy, the unflavored, unsweetened Metamucil goes great with fuelers. I shake it in between. Uh, between sips of chugging, never like doing that anyway. Eh, I don't, I don't dislike the orange flavored Metamucil. I slug it so fast, that, like it's ha hardly an inconvenience. But yeah, I, I used to do that. I used to get the, I guess it wasn't Metamucil, but I used to get a flavorless version of fiber supplement. Very careful here. But I used to mix into like creatine shakes and stuff like that. It's all learn it. Dude's business is. We'll just do that. I'm sure as shit not about to teleport somewhere blind right now. Oh god, it was on loan! I'm happy to feel or to hear that you're feeling better, Aaron. Curse no more, baby! Let's live reckless! Woo! I don't know who this guy is. He's super angry. Oh, shit! Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. I've never seen anything with regards to One Piece. I will say that Brizzy referenced me in a One Piece post the other day. Malachite. 
What did Brizzy say? Brizzy said something about One Piece the other day that I think had to do with Twitch. But I've never seen a single episode of it, so I, I was it was lost on me. Brizzy says, holy shit, the more I think about the Switch contract, the more I realize Taffy and I are Garp. Garp and Sengoku. The man is trying to fuck all you crazy upstarts and you can't do shit about it because we also don't know what's going on up there. And 525 says, yeah, but which one of you is Garp, though? And he says, it's Taffy 10,000%. I'm much more forwardly bitter about this shit. Taffy still has some laugh in him. What was it? Uh, Netflix announced uh, live action One Piece and uh, another live action Avatar The Last Airbender. If I was reading the tea leaves on Twitter correctly yesterday. I watched through the One Piece anime at least what was out at the time at least three times. I cannot for the life of me get excited about the live action. You definitely are Garp. I hope that means that Garp is a good character. I'll be sad if everyone's just like, you're definitely Garp. Everybody wants to beat Garp to, Garp to death with a bat. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, no, we fucking hate you, Taffy. Evil Canadian, good morning, Taffy and chat. Welcome back, Taffy. Hope your vacation was amazing. It was amazing. It was amazing. It was stressful. It was anxiety inducing. But my mother and the two boys who had never traveled to, uh, internationally before uh, all seemed to have had an all-timer of a trip. They they um, have all of them thanked me profusely for, 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 you know, like Amber handled all of the cultural excursions and I handled all the culinary excursions. One up there. How do I get up there? I wonder. But everybody seemed to be genuinely happy when everything was said and done. We had a, a couple of hiccups. We got we, specifically Grayson and I had a couple of head bumps. We knocked we knocked skulls a couple of times, but all things equal, it was a pretty um, incident-free trip. It was almost exclusively good good. Uh, Good experiences. He's not a uh, shit character for sure. Garp's a fan favorite. A uh, Atla, a Atla, Avatar: The Last Air Airbender looks so good. I'm uh, hoping beyond all hope that it's leaks better than Shyamalama Ding Dong's version. You're like you're like Jar Jar Binks. Uh, Garp's an amazing character. Garp's decent. Uh, Sengoku is kind of big war crimes. Garp is great. Reading further down, people saying Garp is a great S tier character, so I think you're good. Ake uh, Akenu is way worse than Sengoku, hands down. It's like she could be a font of information professionally, like a person you go to for finding things. Let's call that something interesting, like a librarian. Yeah, Amber. Yeah, she was she was prepped and ready. Yeah, I was. I I I, I kept wondering, poor lady, if I was hearing rain through my walls. I guess I was. I'm glad I put my the, the I'm glad I put the cover on my um I'm glad I put the cover on my um uh, Blackstone last night. I was convinced it was going to be fine today, but apparently, yeah, I can hear the rain hitting the outside of the house right now. I'd be sad if my Blackstone was getting roughed up right now without the... Oh, shit. I'd be sad if the, if the Blackstone was getting roughed up right now.
and its lid and cover weren't on, I'd be bummed out. Yeah, I saw that. I, I I glanced it for a split second. I'll I'll take a uh, I'll take a more comprehensive look at it when I'm not on stream. I'm probably just gonna end up playing Dead Cells through the day unless this run ends in a way that like low key irritates me. Unless this run like ends in a way that low key pisses me off. I'll probably just stick with dead cells today. Ooh. I don't know shit all about you yet, bud. And like that. Oh shit, I didn't realize there was a dude underneath me. Topping off. All my dead cells run end up <laughs> end up with me being pissed off. But you know what I mean, like, uh, uh, there's a lot of stuff when the, in the early goings. I don't even know what to be pissed about and what not to be pissed about. In the early goings, there, there's my default setting is well, I guess I got my ass kicked by X Y Z. I don't know enough about the game to be to know when I'm supposed to be angry, so it's got to be a pretty, it's got to be a pretty aggressive uh, bamboozling. Uh oh. Hey, bud. I fucked that up. Ooh, I'm... Wow, that guy hits hard. That was, uh... That guy strikes me as the kind of guy I don't want to be doing uh, a melee build against. Mostly because I, I didn't know his attack patterns. I probably should have sat back a little bit. It didn't help that the walls were covered with spikes. Yeah, his 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 hits and no iframes, man. He was giving me the business. <laughs> 